Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a diabetic gummy cataract. The patient has been suffering from diabetes for eight years. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is done on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of this utrita forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. Diabetic cataracts may be soft, but they do not want to be separated by stop and chop and divide and conquer technique. In direct chop also, we cannot hold the nuclear mass and very difficult to divide the nuclear mass. This instrument works well. This is a pre-chopper. It is being used to divide the nucleus. After dividing on heminucleus, I find that the anterior chamber is shallow. So I come out, inject some visco and go again. Turn the nuclear mass and this heminucleus is also divided into two pieces. Now the antechamber is again filled up with visco. And now it is easy to pick up the pieces and emulsify the pieces. No struggle, the pieces has been already divided by the pre-chopper, we just have to emulsify the pieces. Artesanic energy being used is 60 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Nucleus management is done. And now cortical cleanup will be done. With the help of a Simco cannula, the cortex is being removed. Sub-incisional cortex is removed going through the side port. The width of the side port is 1.6 millimeter and the Simco used is 23 gauze. Hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are closed. 
hydrating corneal stroma. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.